Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Cooking Tonight. And we are going to do a repeat on this episode of something I've already done before, some beef short ribs. So I think today what I'm going to do is I've got three of these bigger ones and i got three smaller ones here. I think I'm going to do like a wrap test. So I'm going to do foil on the big ones. I'm going to do butcher paper on the small ones. But um, we're going to cook this in the Fernetto Basso today. We're going to use uh, some post oak and some hickory. Um, so let's go ahead and like... Get our binder on there, some mustard, and let's season these guys up. All right, so for our rub today, I'm gonna do kind of a mix here. I'm gonna do some of them with this uh, Thundering Longhorn beef rub. Oh, let me get that in the camera a little better, there you go. And then I think on some of the other ones, I'm just gonna do a basic salt and pepper and uh, I might do a little bit of garlic salt on each of them. So that's how it's gonna go. Let's, um, hmm, how do I wanna do this? What do I wanna put in the big ones? Let's do, let's do salt and pepper on the big guys, cause that's tried and true, I know I'm gonna like that. And we'll flip this over to the meat side. I wanna do the bone side first, cause that's the smaller one to season. We'll do a tad bit of garlic salt because we already got some salt on there. All right, great. And then let's just do just a thundering longhorn on this guy. See what happens. All right, let's flip these over. I'm gonna have to get some more mustard on them here. Sure, this is all patterned as much as I can. Look at this though. Now that one's not as marbled, but like if you look at the side here or some of these, it's got like some good marbling. These are some good beef short ribs. Whoop, oh, messed up that. Yeah, see, not bad. These are choice. I got them from the local butcher, but they're uh, looking good. Little bit more of our binder. So I'm guessing these are gonna take around six hours to cook, I'm thinking. I'll probably cook them unwrapped for around three hours, and then around that three hour mark we'll see how they're doing. And uh like I said, I'm gonna do some of these in foil, some of them in butcher paper. I know the foil ones will turn out pretty good because that's gonna make them nice and tender, but I want to see uh, how they'll turn out with the butcher paper. Maybe I'll get like a little better uh, outer coating here. All right, um, let's go ahead and get our salt and pepper. All right, that's good. That's patterned in. I think that looks good. It's not too, too much. So this rub I got from the grocery store. Ingredients say coarse black pepper, cumin, ancho chili, espresso, oregano, garlic, and salt. So hoping these will be really good, especially after we get that Nice char on the outside, a nice bark on these. All right, I think these guys are looking pretty good. We're gonna go out and fire up the Fernetto Basso, and when that's up to temp, we will put these guys in the smoker. See you then. All right, guys, let's get the smoker going. We're doing the Fernetto Basso today with the short ribs. Already got like a half can of uh, charcoal going here. It's raining a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get too crazy. Let's put it in. Perfect, got the minion method going. We're gonna be doing some uh, hickory and some oak today. So let me go ahead and grab that. Get 
that guy there. That's the hickory I just put on. Let's get a post oak on here. Over there. And I'm gonna do one more post oak on this side. All right, let me get this camera up. We will assemble the rest of the smoker here. Got the water pan like almost full. It's gonna be a long cup, so I think we're gonna need it. Not really long, probably be around six hours, I'm hoping. We'll wait to get this guy up to temp and uh, we'll get the ribs on there. All right, guys, we are up to temp. We are at 265 right now. I want it to be a little bit lower, but I think this is going to even out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid here and get these guys on. Ooh. Pretty smoky. Just what we want. All right, let's get. Thundering Longhorn ones on. I'll try and make these like as even as I can on here. I don't want to do it on the smoking champ because this will all fit on this smoker. It's just a little simpler to run this one. I don't have to babysit it. All right, here's the salt and pepper. We're doing bone side down to start off with. That'll protect the meat a little bit. Ah, eh, this probe's in the way. I knew this was gonna happen. Eh, I'll mess with that off camera. All right, how's this looking? Yeah, that's looking really good. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Yeah. All right, so we'll leave these guys on, like I said, for about three hours, and uh, we'll check them out at that point. We'll give you another preview. See you then. All right, guys, the uh, beef ribs have been on for like three hours, 15 minutes, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do my favorite part, the reveal. Oh, man, look at those guys. They got a great bark on them, looking real good. All right, um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this lid back on real quick. I'm gonna get the camera set up uh, over on the table here, and then I'm gonna take them off and we're gonna wrap them. So we're gonna do some with the foil. We're gonna do some with this butcher paper I got here. We're gonna put some butter on there. Um, we're gonna maybe just spray them with some water, make sure they're still kind of moist. And uh, some of this and we'll re-season it a little bit and then we'll uh we'll do three in foil three in butcher paper all right let me get that ready we'll be right back all right we got our ribs over on the table here so i'm just going to try this first big one in the foil get that over here so you can see it That's a little better. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna give it a spray here. Put the butter on top. Put a little bit of Worcestershire on there. Just like that, that looks good to me. You know, I'll put a little bit of rub on, but like I don't think it needs a lot. When I looked at it before, it looked pretty good, so I'll just do that. Maybe add a little bit more on the edges here, so it kind of can evaporate into here. Mm -hmm. 
was actually a perfect amount of foil. All right, so that's how we're gonna do the foil ones. Let me get some butcher paper out here. Try one of these. And I'm loving the bark on these. They're turning out good. Can't really complain with that. Probably shouldn't put too much of that in the paper. I didn't really think that through, did I? I think it'll be all right. All right, so we're gonna do it just like that. Um, I'm going to finish the rest of these up, and then uh, we'll cut back when we put them back in the smoker. Alright, we're back. I got uh, three wrapped in butcher paper, three wrapped in foil. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the smoker here. I think what I'm going to do is do another test here as well. I'm going to put the foil ones meat side down. I'm going to put the butcher paper ones meat side up and see if that makes a big difference or not. So we're going to leave these on for about three more hours. Uh, I'll come out here and probe them eventually with a temperature probe just to check for tenderness. But uh, there we go. Beef short ribs coming along nicely. Alright guys, it has been almost six hours here. I'm going to do a little check with the thermometer probe and see where we're at. Gonna check for tenderness here. We'll look at the temp a little bit too, but Ooh. It feels pretty tender. I mean, it's pulling out of here like butter. Temp's not quite where I th would think it would be. Let me flip one of these over. But they say to go by the tenderness, so let's see. Oh man, <laughs> the foil one's definitely done. And then that thing came right out. Let's check these guys. Maybe I'll take the foil off, leave the butcher paper on. Foil guys are done. I'm gonna leave, uh, I'll take those off. I'll leave the butcher paper ones on just a little bit longer, and these should be done pretty soon. We'll uh, unwrap them for you a little bit here. All right, let's do the unwrap of the foil ribs. Ooh, smells good. Yeah, it's pretty good bark there. Let's uh, cut into it, see how it is. I'll do a little taste test. Oh man, so good and tender. There's a, uh, whoops, knocked the camera there. It's not focusing very well, but there's a picture of the meat, looks awesome. Oh man, that is like melt in your mouth good. These are definitely better than the last beef ribs I did. So we're going to have to do an unwrap of the uh, the butcher paper ones, see how those compare. But this one is amazing. Very good. Very happy with these with how these turned out. Mm. All right, well, we'll cut it there. And then we'll uh, bring it back here when we unwrap the butcher paper ribs. Alright guys, we have the 
butcher wrapped ribs off the smoker. We're gonna do an unwrap here. See how these guys turned out. Oh, it looks good. The rub smells amazing. These were the ones with the, just to remind you, the Thundering Longhorn Beef Rub. The other ones that we already looked at, the foil ones with the salt and pepper, that turned out great. Just gonna cut a little bit here so we get a little picture. Ooh, pretty good smoke ring. Let's see if it's as tender. I'm sure it's gonna be good, but the foil ones are really tender. Mmm. I mean, not as tender, but still really good. Hard to say. Like, rub-wise, I don't know if I even feel like these are that different than the salt and pepper. Mm. It's definitely good, though. I just feel like it didn't make a big difference. The salt, pepper, and garlic salt that I did was just as good. So, if I'm going to judge it, I'm going to say with the foil is better. With the foil gets it more tender. Just can't beat that. So, that is the... Round two, the second time I've done the beef short ribs in the Fernando Basso, turned out great. We'll see you guys later.